you had been talking about profitable health care. Well, I don't know. What, what do you what do you say about this? Yeah. Yeah. So so look, a, a bunch of lucky things have happened to me. So I'm waiting for the disasters, you know, buying, you know, we'll get to one of them. But, uh, you know, let's talk about Humana first. So, yeah, so I, I put it on as a trade you recall last time I was on the show, which I think was uh, January 9th. And um, because I had been losing money in it, uh, I put a stop on it, relatively tight, tight stops. So I got stopped out last week. And at the same time, I sold uh, United Healthcare, which was basically slightly better than break even. Uh, they're just not working. And now you're getting into the election year where it's going to be even, uh, even tougher. But when you take a look, they make money off their MLR, the medical loss ratio, which is now at 90%. And that is really high. You want that to be closer to 80 percent. So you're still seeing, and nobody knows this for sure, and clearly Humana didn't know it, because uh, they just don't have that type of visibility. There's so much change going on in healthcare. The government is pushing Medicare, which is where they are, CMS, to shift the risk to the provider. So in other words, instead of fee for service, you go and they say it's 100 bucks for the visit. What, what they're doing now is they're saying, OK, for this patient in this category, we're going to give you 50000 for the year. And if you make money on that, great. If you lose money on that, then that's your thing. So people are really, really changing around the health care system. And in addition, you still have the backlog of, um, you know, of pandemic visits and surgeries. So usage is going up quite a bit. So all that is the perfect storm for Humana with their Medicare Advantage, and we may see it fall into United as well. So it became much too difficult. United's, United has always been a permanent compounder. You know, I'm sure it'll return to that, but at this point, I'd rather stay in the sidelines. 